Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you the 12 sided magic camera. I'm so excited. So, um, I told you guys in my previous video that it would come on Wednesday, but, um, I, apparently I was wrong about the date because it actually came yesterday on Monday, but I didn't review it until today because I got it really late. So, um, alright, I didn't, I got it, but I just didn't open it because I didn't know what it was. That was my brother playing with his fidget cube. He got, he has a regular one. I'll do a review on that another time. But I just want to focus on this one. No, you won't. He does that. Oh, well, the tape's already opened. Oh, my mom opened it. She probably looked at it. It's fine. It's out of the package. So, here it is. I've never seen it before. I've never even touched it. And then we have this, which, um, I guess this, like, I guess this was on it, and then, it, like, huh, it must have just sat like that, and then this could make for a nice stand, so I think I'm going to keep that, actually, probably going to keep the whole package, and then there's this instructions in here, so I'll read that in a minute, but there's also something on the box, so, a little body to satisfy your all-hand addictions. Modern people face a variety of emotional states such as stress, frustration, tension, and distraction. Now, you only need to move a finger to give yourself an effective psychological suggestion and adjust move quickly. Holy Crystal Decompression Magic Cube is full of 12 small trivial organs. You can come and try it. They don't capitalize. <laughs> that bugs me when people don't capitalize at the beginning of sentences. We're not in kindergarten. <laughs> Sorry. That sounded really mean. By the way, well, I, I was showing this, and then look at the back. It says, I have 12 surfaces. Each side has the function of adjust emotions that ensure to adjust your negative mood. Okay, that's fine. Size. That is really not comprehensible. <laughs> is that even a word? Okay, so there is a Japanese... There's a Japanese side right here, so those are all of the items in Japanese. This is a Japanese product, you know, and then I feel like all the fun stuff is Japanese. <laughs> We're from Japan anyway. So And then, like, all of this stuff is in English, so I'm going to read these quick. So it says, the gear, the side has three gears which can be poked and rolled, spreading voice of clear and harmony. I'm going to look at that. So, like, it's this one. It's not spreading a voice of clear and harmony. <laughs> the rotating disc. Do you want to rotating disc? Do you want to a... What? Do you want to a rotating disc? That's literally what it does. Do you want to a rotating disc? You can come and try it. It already said that on the back. <laughs> okay. So, then the button. Gain controller button experience using ABS material for an ant enhanced texture okay silicone ball soft and exquisite hand feeling resilient switch you can have experience of the obituous oh ubiquitous i don't know how to pronounce that i'll show it it's like right there i don't know how that's pronounced let me know in the comments switch rhythm joystick 360 degrees rotating rotation joystick silicone rope Free shrinkage, it can be hung anywhere and not afraid of missing. Shrink? I don't know what that means. Why would why would this shrink? <laughs> no. Why would it shrink? And then it says and not afraid of missing. I'm not afraid of this being missing. It's huge. Okay, it's giant. <laughs> I'm not gonna lose that. Okay, soft button. People who like pressing ball pen can try it. <laughs> you can come and try it. People who like pressing ball pen can try it. <laughs> I th I'm not trying to be judgmental or, like, criticized. I just think that's funny. <laughs> because it is Japanese, and that's how, like, it's said in this. I think they just, like, straight translated it from this to this, and then it just came out like that. So now it's, like, then the soft silicone, which is number nine. Soft, small soft tactility that have the function of blood circulation and massage. I thought this was for massage, because it's like three balls, I thought it would be like, ooh, that feels good. Like, you could just rub it on your arm or something, I don't even know anymore. 
Worry Stone. Using fingers to rub repeatedly that can relieve stress and annoyance effectively. What's this thing? Cool. Sliding block. Sliding the sliding block block to adjust own life rhythm. How does my life have a rhythm? <laughs> okay. Smiling face. It is is little face very cute. It won't be angry no matter how to pinch. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is little face very cute? It won't be angry no matter how to pinch. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Find a website that's in Japanese and translate it dir to direct English. I bet you would laugh. <laughs> I think that's what they did. They just translated it directly from the Japanese into English. <laughs> that's funny. I like it. So I'm not going to use this to review it. All I'm just going to do it on my own. So um, I'm just going to go with this first. So there are like three emojis. They don't look like emojis, but that's okay. Nothing that's like that has like emoji on it looks like the actual emoji. I don't even know. Do you get me? Whatever. So there's the emoji balls. They're really cool. I don't know what you do with them. They like rotate like a joystick, like the joystick that's on here. So next, um, we have these sliding ones. That one's kind of hard to move, and then this one is pretty easy. This one. So I'm guessing um, they did that on purpose because in the video that I did, that I watched, um, this one was like slow and then the other two were like really fast and easy to move. But I like these so much because it just like slides. My hair's on fleek. <laughs> it just slides and then it just feels really nice. It's really like nice and doesn't make any noise too, which is pretty nice. And then this one's pretty slow. I'm not sure I like how it's so slow though, because it's like it's kind of hard to move. But I really like it, nevertheless. Ooh, then we have this. This looks really fun. Ooh, it's a little like a light switch. It's even... <laughs> I'm so clumsy today. It's just like slipping because of the material. It's really slippery. Anyway, where was I? Oh, oh. Right here. Okay. So it's like it, it's even got the markings. So like. I, don't, I can't remember which is on and which is off. What if there was like a light? That would be so cool. So you just turn that on and off. I like how they like made it like a real thing. Like they turned something so it was like real. I do this all the time in class. I just like take my thumb and then I just go around. I don't know why I do that. I just go the entire class period. But I don't know. And then this thing. It's supposed to hang it up, but it feels like I should pull it. It, like, has that feel, like, I'm just gonna pull this, but I'm pretty sure it's not meant for that, so I'm gonna break it. I don't want to break it. So, like, you pull it, I guess. I'm going to anyway. doesn't pull very well, though. Like, doesn't come out. Probably because it's meant to hang. I don't know where I would hang this, though, because it's so it's such a small little string. Like, I couldn't hang it on my bedpost or anything. So, that's kind of a bummer. Way, I don't know. Like, you can already tell they were starting to run out of ideas, and they have these three, and then this one. And then they have, they, oh, it's the 12th one. What's it do? Oh, you hang it, you hang it up with it. That's not a thing. You don't. You don't relieve stress by hanging it up. <laughs> anyway, now we have these, like, things. Ooh, that feels really good. I love that. So, basically, all you do is le just, like, you legit just rub it, I guess. I don't, I guess. I really like that, though. These are pretty much self-explanatory. I don't think I need the instructions to tell what these do. So, we did that. I'm going to go to the joystick. Ooh. So the regular fidget cube, I've seen it. I've played with one before. The joystick doesn't go very far. It's like a little, it makes a lot of noise. Like, the fidget cube is meant to be silent so that it doesn't make noise so you can play with it. But this one's completely silent. It makes a little bit of noise, but it's not enough that anyone would notice. It, But it moves really far. The other fidget cube, it clicked. And it, like, moved, like, half of an inch. This moves really far. 
I like that it's so free. It feels like a PlayStation controller. Or like I just like hold it like this and play it like it was a video game. I really like that. Speaking of video game, then we have these buttons. Which I really enjoy because it also reminds me of um, a controller. Not necessarily the PlayStation one because those are round and they have the shapes. But I really enjoy this. Highly enjoy it. So next we have these. This like smoothing stone I think they called it. So basically all I do is rub it. The fidget cubes was a lot softer and a lot much like a lot better to rub because it was super smooth. This is the exact same material as the rest of it. So that's kind of a letdown because if they were going to make the smoothing stone, I wish they would have had it so that it was a different material than the rest of it, but it's basically just the same. Although it is pretty smooth, it doesn't feel like it just doesn't have that right feel like the fidget cubes did. So that's um one downside to it. And then the next thing is this thing did I already do this? I don't even remember. I should have gone in order. But this thing, if I didn't do it already, then here it is. But if I did, oh well. Just go and cut that. But basically you rotate it. And then it's got like these things on top. I don't know. It just... just ugh. Hmm. <gasps> no! It clicks! That's so cool! This one also makes noise. That's the one thing I don't like. It makes noise. And I like it though. But it's also, it's a little bit, it's not as loud as the other ones. So I could probably get away with clicking this in class. I like that it's big. So you can just go. That's nice. And then, I just have to play with these gears. They're so fun. Then the next thing we have is this. So basically, it's like for people that like clicking their pens, it's supposed to sound like a click in a pen. It doesn't sound like that, but it feels like it. But it's a lot smoother because it's made out of silicone, so like a pen kind of is sharp. It's just not sharp, but it's like a little round thing, and it's plastic, so you just click it. But this is a lot nicer because of how smooth it is. Of course, it does make noise, so I probably couldn't get away with clicking that in glass. And then... The big one, the big emoji. It sounds really weird, but it looks like a cow udder. <laughs> I'm sorry, it does. It looks like a cow udder. Is that why you're supposed to squeeze it? Oh, no, I just made it weird. I just made that so weird. But anyway, I really like it. You just, like, move it around, I guess. It's kind of like the joystick, but it's more free. Like, you can move it more than you can the other ones. I like that. That is pretty much everything. So, guys, this is the 12-sided fidget cube. I will do another video reviewing the normal fidget cube. And then, in that video, I will compare it to the 12-sided one. But, I'll let you know where I found this down in the description box down below. A.K.A. Amazon.com is where I found this. I found this on Amazon. And I'll have the link so it takes you directly to the seller. Um, this was $20 on Prime. Amazon Prime. Um, there was one that was multicolored. It was really cool, but it was, and it was really not expensive. It was $11, but it was going to take until the middle of April to come, and I didn't want to wait that long for it, so I just decided that I would purchase this one, which is the green and pink. There are a whole lot more colors than this one, so I'll let you know where I found mine. I'm pretty sure the seller I bought this from only had this color, so you might have to do a little bit of searching to find the one you want, but anyway, guys, that's my video. Um, let me know in the comments if you really enjoyed this, and please give a big fat thumbs up on this video. I am quoting TTM. I'm not trying to steal anything. And please do subscribe to my channel. I'm stealing words from my favorite YouTuber. I'm using the words of TTM. I don't want to copy, so just make them that clear. I make everything so weird. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. So, anyway, that will be just about everything. Bye!